Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video and another raid boss guide. I finally found the time to finish the fourth and final guide, so this time we're taking a look at the Daughters of Oryx. If you guys have any trouble with any of the bosses, then I've now got guides for all four of them on the channel, so be sure to check them out if you need help, and it'll also be awesome if you could drop a like if you find this helpful. Now, the Daughters of Oryx, this is actually one of, if not the easiest fights in the raid. And I like to refer to this as your Oryx training wheels, because it introduces you to one of the core mechanics for the final fight, interdimensional platforming. Once again, as with all my guides, let's start with how you should set up your team. I'd recommend for this fight assigning people to platforms, just like in the Oryx fight. In fact, the team members you assign to platforms in this fight should also stick to those platforms in the Oryx fight for continuity. Yes, this fight does have a random element to it that will break those assignments from time to time, but if people have a place to call home, it just means everyone is doing their job. Now, as the fight begins, someone will get torn between dimensions. Unlike the Oryx fight where you can control who gets taken, this time it's completely random. So if one of your platform owners is taken, simply have someone fill their spot. You then need to stand on the platforms in the correct order so as to construct the necessary platforms so that your taken runner can then jump and grab the brand, or the all. And also, you only need three people to stand on platforms for this and not four. So once someone is torn, a relic or an orb will appear above one of the four platforms. You then need to begin standing on platforms counterclockwise from the one adjacent to the orb. What I mean by this is, say for example the orb spawns above the front right platform. The order would then be front left, back left, back right. That will ensure the steps are created in the right order and then your interdimensional platformer or taken runner can then climb up and grab the orb. Also, while standing on the platforms, Taken snipers will spawn behind each one of them, so be sure to keep an eye out for those because they do hit hard, and if someone dies on a platform before the runner has the orb, they'll disappear, and it'll mess things up. Once they have the orb, the next bit is important. See, this boss fight focuses around two daughters. They'll each take it in turns to sing, and when your runner has the orb, they'll then need to jump over to the daughter that is not singing, in other words, the one that does not have flames around her, and they then press X or square to steal the brand. They will then get an invulnerable shield or an aura around them, so they then need to jump down and everyone groups up in the orb or in the bubble and they then deal damage to the daughter that has just had her brand or bubble stolen. Now what you do next is important. See, if you have high enough light and good enough weapons, you can kill the daughter in one. But if you are going to do this, then you need, I repeat, you need to ensure that you can kill the second daughter in the next phase in one shot too. If you don't, then you'll wipe at the end of the phase. If your light and damage output isn't too high, and you're not certain you can kill each daughter in one, then simply get this first daughter down to below half health and then wait. Everyone sits inside the bubble, the singing daughter completes her song, and you begin the next phase. Now they change roles, the other daughter will sing, so once again you construct platforms, grab the orb, steal the brand, and DPS the one that's not singing. Again if you can't kill her in one, then simply get her below half health and you'll be fine. You then repeat this process until both of them are dead, and it's that simple. Job done! The run you're actually seeing in the background is from one of our first raids, where we were all around the 290 light mark. So we did this one the long way in about 4 rotations, however last night we took each daughter out in one, which made this a pretty quick fight overall. Either way, that's how you do it, so hopefully you found this helpful, let me know if you do have any questions in the comments down below, but aside from that thank you very much for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.